This is Cougar News. Welcome back to Cougar News. I'm sorry about the long wait between shows, but life sometimes gets in the way and we just have to make do, don't we? <laughs> so, where did I go this time? Well, the most recent destination for Cougar News this July 2011 was none other than Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. A beautiful place to relax, party. <laughs> I love it. Uh, <laughs> with a big drink. <laughs> Have adventures and new experiences. It was not crowded at all, mostly because some are nervous about all the drug war activity being reported down there, but I didn't see any evidence while I was there. Except for the boat and the men with the guns in the marina. <laughs> A bit unsettling, but for just a moment, because the trip was really actually wonderful. Except for this small reminder about how lucky we are, truly, to be in the good U.S. of A. So, first day. Turtle on the beach laying her eggs. The police were there guarding over her and stealing her eggs. <laughs> well, not really. They, they needed to relocate the eggs because she had chosen the middle of the resort beach to lay 96 eggs. Yeah, 96. <laughs> when she was done, she took the long trek back to the ocean. I'm glad all this happened before many people were up, and I was happy to see her finally make the safety of the ocean. I hope her 96 eggs were placed somewhere safe and that they make it to the ocean when they hatch. Pretty cool for the first day. Day two was horseback riding. Boy, was this a treat, as I was the only one at 6.30 a.m. to book the sunrise ride on the beach. You would never be allowed to run a horse like I did that morning in the U.S. if you were renting. So I was so happy to let out all the stops. Jose even gave me his horse so I could ride even faster. Truly memorable. And yes, I was saddle sore for about two days, but I'm telling you, it was so worth it. Day three, kayaking on the ocean was both a workout and a spiritual experience. I should have brought my headphones for some inspired music as I sat out there in the middle of the ocean because the blaring music from the beach was all about partying. <laughs> Something about sitting in a small kayak on the vast ocean, swaying to the rhythms of Mother Nature, feeling very small, humbling for sure. And you don't want to go out in that small boat being any more vulnerable than you already are. So partying was not really an option, at least while kayaking. Being inspired, humbled, and at peace was priceless. And this was day three. And then, there was the Buccaneer Boat and the Sunrise Wine and Cheese Cruise. The Buccaneer Boat inspires such adventure. Riding on this great vessel was not in the cards this time, but a few years back, I had the pleasure of doing just that, and it is really awesome fun, especially for the kids. I did, however, as I do every trip down here, go on the Jazz Wine and Cheese Tropicat Tour. It is a catamaran ride that holds over 40 people for a great trip to the famous El Arco Arch and to the open waters to see the most fantastic sunrises ever. Meet people from all over the world. All drinks and food are included in this three-hour trip. Sailing if the wind cooperates, which is really fun. And all this for just like $60. Look them up when you go. You won't be disappointed. So, for a quick adventure, getaway, or relaxing weekend, Cabo is close, and for one, I will be back. <laughs> so, till next time, my beautiful friends, always remember and never forget, you are beautiful, wise, sexy, and complete, and youth is in your passions. Go and get it. Adios and buenos dias. <laughs> okay. That was really bad, sorry. <laughs> See you later. Bye.